I'd like to discuss a trade with you, Outlander. For the people who just don't know, my name is Crimson, and this is Horizon Zero Dawn. In between this last, uh, the the last episode and this you episode, there. I've been uh, collecting all the uh, collectibles in this game, and I have collected most of them except for one uh, vantage point, but I'm pretty sure we'll get there in story. But as you can see, I got all the cups, the ancient vessels, I got all the metal flowers, and I got all the uh, uh, Bonak. Uh, artifacts. The last Outlander, the so do you have relics to trade? Back from the wilds. Let's see, let's you trade. ready? Uh, oh, I think I already got that one. Yeah, I already got this one. Let's get that one. And that one. Alright. Come on back if you find any Banuke goods. Nope. I pay uh, well for Banuke relics, them. Outlander. So, we got those. We'll see what they offer us. One. I think this one wanted to. I've got all the best. Which one this one wanted? Oh, here. Okay. Uh, there's another one over here. Why one of these wanted to cut. Hmm, yes. I remember you. Did you find the vessels I seek? Yep. Uh, yes, yes. Go. Trade quickly. I have work to do. You want these cups? All right. There we go. I will leave you to the hunt. Be sure to delve into the ruins. All right. Got all the cups, and I want. Somebody wanted the flowers. Serious prices. Oh, that. That's what we want. Come take a look. I'll give you a good price. Ah, you're back. Did you bring me something lovely? Yes, I did. Ah, I these let us haggle over this beautiful bounty. It's not much haggling, you just give me a price and I'll just take it. Alright. And I got him. Till we meet again, my noble Nora. Could you spare a moment to speak of the fight? Alright, so I got all the uh, treasure boxes. I can't open this, but let's see what's in here. Modification boxes I got. Uh, I gotta get rid of all these so that way I can pick up more stuff. Um, got I can sell this to you. Alright, this gotta be a guy. I know there's a guy I can sell this to, I just gotta find him. So the ones I don't need. Anything that's blue. Okay, uh. <laughs> okay. Uh, I have a little bit of a problem here. Okay, 
Okay, I'll just sell off the weakest of the ones I get. Finally, we're all done. Okay, so, huh, there's some, uh, we have to go all the way up to the Sunfall, which we're going to take care of right now, after all that, uh, trading and opening up stuff, it's time to get on with the mission, and I know this isn't the last bit, because there's still places we haven't been in, as far as story-wise, and there still has to be be those uh, uh bunkers or uh, uh, ruins that we have to find uh, yeah we still have to find those so I'm guessing we get to the part where I think we meet uh, uh silence Hopefully, I don't know. Silas is very hush hush about what things we can't dispose. Divulge information and stuff like that. Alright. So we're finally going here. Those things are still rolling through. <laughs>
Sunfall. The Mad King Duran Summer Palace. A bulwark of Karja might against the howling Forbidden West. Thanks for the history Shadow lesson. With it, peace. But they have no idea what lies beneath. We will learn much from this Aloy. That's what I'm hoping. Campfire discovered. So there's little side missions here. Now I'll probably distract us for a little while. And we're finally being finally being able to go to Sunfall. I didn't know Sunfall was old enough to catch her death. Go to Sildell Courtyard. A little more food. I do whatever work these Outlanders are doing and more. That's the Nora who took down Durval. Must be tougher than she looks. All right. Uh, I'm a little cautious going in here, hearing that you know these guys want to kill me. <laughs> The Sunbring. The Stay off my focus. Just catch us, please. You'll be lucky if you survive long enough to wind up in that way. When his support is so sorely needed. All right, so I might end up in there. Now we get to see if your attack on their focus network was entirely successful. <sighs> what are you talking about? Did I crash the network? Success. Welcome to the Citadel, Aloy. All right. I'll check back with you in a moment. In the meantime, circulate. Okay. So looks like my attack worked. These are desperate times. They don't know who I am. Outlanders! If you want to hear about today's bounties, head for the throne room. You're not going to make any shards by standing out here. I'll take the shards, even if it means having a listen to my hobbies. I hear the Shadow Conjurer are looking for one of their own. Should pay well. Okay. By the glory of the sun revealed, behold, radiant Edaman, the one true sun king, the light in shadow, whose will is light and whose light is law. Oh, I, I think I remember seeing him. I command Lucian Bahavas to speak in my behalf. By the will of Radiant Edaman does the sun glare down mercilessly upon the traitor Uthid. To the hunter who brings his head to us shall go a bounty of 500 shards. Hmm. More prisoners than royalty, don't you think? Hmm. Love your hair. You and I need to chat, little no huntress. The green the tent Ruby. down in Shadowside? I'll be waiting. Kind of busy. We both know you're no killer for hire. Uthid is innocent. So come see me while there's still time to save him. Who are you? So, the way in I spoke of is right behind you. You've got to be kidding. Not at all. And you needn't worry about the Kestrels. They'll be too busy acting important to pay attention to you. First time in the Citadel, gotta see the sun ring from on high. But the Kestrels. Traitor's bounty. So, it looks like I got some side quests to do. So, it looks like we're going to be doing some more side questing here. Or I could get on to the main uh, story, but I want to see what she has to say. <laughs> the little, uh, the little lady. Also, we do have to get towards the bandit lake, uh, lair. 
pretty soon. Ah, but let's, they uh, want us to see this, boy. It makes quite an impression. Let's see if we can uh do this a little bit instead. I am low on health, though. Apparently, we're entrusting delicate matters to savages now. These are desperate times. All right, let's see what she has to say. Apparently, uh, somebody is innocent and they want them dead. Since the child card don't want someone dead, that only means that uh, I probably want them alive. You know, interesting stuff. Leave out of my way. I'd be pretty uneasy. Hold it. Plus, there's lots of uh, little uh, things I want to do anyway, so we'll probably spend some time doing that. The food is from Dowager Queen Nasadi, little ones. Her Highness knows times are hard and helps when she can. Eat, but bring some home for your families, if you have one. I've heard whispers about you. Rides machines, fancy spear, delightful freckles. Some even say you have a conscience. <laughs> How extraordinary. Uh, who are you? Who are you? You're obviously not one of the Shadow Karja. My name is Vanasha. For now, all you need to know is that I'm a whisper of reason in this howling pit of insanity. <sighs> I know how that feels. Okay. I'm sure you do. And so does Uthid. He's a good man, so naturally the Shadow Karja want to murder him. I've done some digging, and I think he's headed for the Green Climb. It won't take those mercenaries long to find him. He could use some help, if you're so inclined. Okay. Uh, why help? How do Uthid? you know Uthid is innocent? Yeah. I'm excellent at making inquiries. Look. He feeds orphans from his own rations and personally punishes anyone who hurts the old or infirm. The idea that he would try to kill Edaman is ridiculous. He must have found something that can embarrass the priesthood. Otherwise, Bahavas wouldn't risk marking such a well-regarded man for death. Hmm. Okay. Who are you? Uh, what's the what green climb? What makes you think he's on the green climb? He Where knows he'll be pursued. Climb? So, he needs a hideout that's both familiar and defensible. He once single-handedly held off an entire bandit clan in those foothills. My guess is that he'll fall back on what worked before. <sighs> Stop you? being evasive and tell me who you really are. His Stop wife? being evasive? You might as well tell me to stop being charming. It's impossible, but I like you, so I'll tell you a secret. I have friends in Meridian. And I'd like to do favors for them when I can. Uthid might be of use to them if he survives. All right. I'll, I'll do help. what I can for Uthid. But what about you? Yeah, what, about what about me? You? What? What will you do while I risk my life? Yeah. Useful things, little huntress. Look for three dead trees south of Sunfall. They mark the start of the green climb. Good luck. He's about to think he's fooling with this ceasefire nonsense. Okay. So, I had to travel three dead trees. Oh, damn it. Of course, I don't have anything relatively. Oh, yes, I do. I have this. That's uh, one of the bandit camps that I uh, wrecked uh, in between episodes. Didn't, it wasn't interesting, so I just didn't des uh, decided not to do that. So, 
if they want him dead, knowing that the child cards are, are just, um, you know, using people. And I've seen this kind of thing before, right? Well, you know, in other stories, you got a small, young king, right, who doesn't know all about politics and just trusts you know, have somebody entrust, you know, all the decision making to, right? Um, if I remember right, I think it was in, um, uh, there was an anime, um, something, something kill, I forget what it is, maybe, uh, one of y'all that knows what it is, uh, uh, Akuma, uh, Lakil. Just like Vanasha said. Let's see if Uthid came through here. All right. These tracks lead up that yeah. rise. Must be the green climb. Right. <clears throat> Akuma, um, Lakil, or good kill. Something, something along those lines, right? Uh, but <coughs> that was a really good thing, right? Uh, Kind of messed up ending, but I'll let y'all. If y'all haven't seen, I'll let y'all find out you know, what that ending was. But uh, okay, yeah, so here. similar uh, story where the king was, uh, you know, the person, the king was using the priest or advisor to do all the uh, heavy stuff. So basically, the advisor uh, was the king and not the actual king. The king was more of a uh, bigger than so, And of course the guy didn't, the kid didn't look like he wanted to be there. He wanted to be with his mom and just, um, you know, be cool. But I guess, uh, but I do remember, uh, oh, but I do remember uh, hearing in those uh, notes that uh, we found at, that uh, campsite in the last mission, talking about how the kid is just all buzzing up in his mom's breast, right, and how he's not really a king. All right, made it. Where did you go, Uthid? Food scraps. I'll bet Uthid stopped to see if he was being followed. He must have kept going. I've got to catch up. There right. we go. All right. I'm pretty sure there's probably traps. Is this? Okay, this is some place where you can't really get to unless you climb up. A dead so machine. This has been hunting. It is a good place to uh, hold off. Everything useful has been stripped. Looks it's been gathering components. Probably for him.
Everything useful has been stripped. There we go. Follow the trail again. Now that I know how to Ethan use multiple arrows. Not an easy kill, but worth it for the parts. Dead watchers. More scrap for Uthid's stockpile. Wow, this guy is well, really capable of doing, handling himself. Good for it. The next one doesn't miss. Uthid? You're young for a bounty hunter. Or am I old for a soldier? I'm not here for the price on your head, Uthid. I believe you're innocent. Innocent? <laughs> Come on, then. If this is a trick, it's a good one. You've earned your kill. To uh, do it. Hey, man, look, look, everything's cool. No tricks, just talk. Just talk. All yeah. right, speak. I want to know what happened at Sunfall, what really happened. Uh -huh. All right, for weeks, each dawn in the tent city came with a new death, always in their sleep, no struggle. The old, the infirm, sometimes the young, those who couldn't fight for the cause. I should have realized then it was a culling. Who would do such a thing? They thought it was a curse, an evil spirit. But it was only a man. And a silent poison. It took time to catch him, but we did. We brought him before Bahavas for the son's judgment. Uh huh. The high priest Bahavas? He's the one who put the bounty on you. Yeah. Yes. He thanked me for my diligence, then had his guards release the villain. You see? It was he who ordered the culling. Then they turned on us. Should have died with my men, so their loyalty meant something. Twenty years I gave to the sun. For what? Malice and murder? As for honor, sacrifice, true sacrifice, the kind priests and rulers know nothing of? It's all a fat joke. All right, if it's card. honor you seek, the sun car just seemed trustworthy. A little stuck up, maybe, but trustworthy. Those cards at once raided your Nora lands. Raided every land we could reach. It was the sun's will. I did what I was told. Others did worse. But as their captain, I had... Uthid, I don't care what you did. No. I, I can't absolve you. But the Karja are changing their ways. You could too. Is Perhaps. Any... Avad doesn't understand what the sun demands of its soldiers. Perhaps he understands it too well. Now you sound like the blameless Murad. Yeah, I can believe Karja. you're a good man. But why go with the Shadow Karja in the first place? Why serve them? Because of Itaman, of course. He was the one true Sun King. Itaman's just a child. Is there? Yes. An untainted vessel. I believed he was pure. But they used him. Used our faith. I can see that now. No shadows under a noonday sun. Bahavas didn't need to disgrace my name. I did it myself, serving a rotten throne. Time to go. I met someone who wants to get you out of this. A woman named Banasha. But first, we need to get you out of here. That's it. What are you? You look like a hunter. You give orders like a soldier who's been out. <laughs> Mercenaries. Think they'll all line up to tell me I'm innocent? Should have stayed no. on the plains, Kaja! The mountains belong to us! Key Cook's killers! When we're done with you, you won't even leave an echo! You didn't make it hard to be followed. Almost as if you wanted to go out in a showdown. Not much gets by you. To me! Let's take her down! All right. <laughs> Now, men, rally! 
We can still finish them. What? Well, you didn't take no damage. Come on. Move in. We'll send the rest as soon as they arrive. Soldier, a while longer than these dregs. That won't be the last of them. Follow me. I stashed supplies up above. All right, let's go. Up and over. All right, let's go. I'm glad this is in, Grab this what you can while like, we still have time. Uh, thing. One of those like, oh, hey, uh, press triangle. Here we go. Oh wait, man, what's, ooh, hold on. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What you got here, buddy? You got a disc launcher? Getting soaked from melted snow. A robust defense is the most satisfying to break. All right, Marbles. We brought the priest out here, so let's put on a show for him. Oh, the priest is out here. Oh, this is gonna be fun. I know that, Hood. We've unfinished business, Bahavas and I. This will be difficult. I think you rallied to a lost cause. I don't intend to die today, Uthid. I hmm. did. But you're starting to change my mind. Wait a minute, where's my... Fuck, 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 fuck. I don't want this. To your left! Drive on adversity! Step it up, boys!
rules break against discipline. All right, y'all want to keep going? Break down their defenses. <laughs> Last of the marvels. Bahavas thought he had enough fodder to keep him safe. Now there's hope for justice. Will you come with me? Right. Let's go. I thought I had to use the disc launcher, but these guys are actually not that bad. Almost killed me. Times, but I got him. I kind of don't like the fact that this is a, a cutscene. I kind of wish it could go a little bit faster. This won't be easy. Bahavas still has his personal guard. Yeah, that's no problem. Let's make sure I had uh, stuff with me. Damn, this dude's fast. Across there, and we'll have him. To come here myself to end your suffering, Uthid, and mine. The Outlanders led us here, and now that they are dead, their price is most affordable. But enough with needles. It's time for blades. Remove them from the sun's sight. All right, I like the fact that you came here. First of all, we're gonna take that uh, big guy out on the on the right. It's a bad day for one of us. For the honor of the culture. The sun sets on your pathetic <coughs> life, Uthid. to the ah oh, man that must be some really good armor though all right that plan didn't work out as well as i thought it would but we we, we got him a righteous fight <laughs> make it hurt the fury of the shadow falls upon me. On your pathetic life, Uthid. Kill a traitor! Kill a Nora! Stay on the move! Sets on your pathetic life. Come on. These cutscenes are getting a lo long and annoying right here. Huh? Huh? 
Whatever deal you worked out with him, I'll double it. More than double it. No. I'm tired of this, Bahavis. The lies and the violence in your cheap scented oils. I don't suppose you'd kill yourself. I had to. I had to. Prune the weak, or all the Karja in shadow are doomed. This solves nothing. But may the sun find some worth among your drying bones. <laughs> And dead. <laughs> that was quite a fireworks show. Whoa. All right. You took your time? I was busy. What do you think happened to Yan Shund, the other mercenary band? And I had to organize passage to Meridian for a wanted man. Give us a moment, Uthid. Girl talk. <laughs> You've okay. had quite a day. I never imagined Bahavas would blunder into his own trap. His death opens up wonderful possibilities. Where's your veil? Remember Edaman and Nasadi? The Child King and his mother guarded like hostages at Sunfall? With Bahavas gone, no one will be watching them. I want to get them out. And I could oh, use your help. Still there. I just can't see it. All right. Uh... Kidnapping the Sun King of the Shadow Karja is no small task. Exactly. It's not kidnapping. They want to go to Meridian, to safety. How do you know that? I've been posing as Nasadi's handmaiden. She's scared. For herself, of course, but mostly for Edaman. All right. Uh, why help? Why do you care what happens to them? Edaman is the Shadow Karja's figurehead. If exactly, he defects, like it will remove their last trace of legitimacy. Beyond that, he's just a boy who clings to his mommy. He made a little grazer for me out of matchsticks once. It wasn't very good, but still, nobody ever made anything for me before. All What's right. going to happen to Uthid now? Don't worry. You gave him a second life, and I'll put it to good use. He'll be welcomed in Meridian as a military advisor. Hopefully he can help Avad finish the Shadow Karja with as little bloodshed as possible. I doubt it, but okay. <laughs> What's going to happen at Sunfall now that Bahavis is dead? Oh, it will be glorious. The priests will panic. They'll be infighting, skullduggery, and backstabbing as they wrangle for power. Best of all, they'll be distracted. Bahavas, your life brought misery, but your death is a flower that blooms in abundance. All what right. do you need to get Nasadi and Idaman out of Sunfall? With Bahavas dead... Sunfall is the easy part. I'll handle that. The big fuss will be crossing the border to the Sundom. Find my friend, Three Tohuadiv, near the branded shore. I hired his crew to sweep the path, so all you have to do is wait for me. If this right. Wadiv has already cleared the area, why do you need me? Contingencies, little huntress. Something will go wrong, and I need protection I can count on. You. I'll oh, okay. try not to disappoint. All right. Sounds like fun. Let's see. Uh, we have to go down here. And, oh, wow. This took longer than I thought it would. And luckily, I've been here before. So, there's no big problem. So, in the next episode, we'll uh, help our old girl and uh, get the sun, uh, the one true sun king. To Moran. So, if you like this video, please leave a like. If you want to see the Nora more, said you would help me. Are we bound for Meridian? Only if you want to go, my dear. What choice do I have? None at all. I was just being polite. If, uh, follow me on Twitter at the Crimson One. That's D C R Y M. What makes you think Avad will welcome me after I served his enemies? He's a forgiving man. Just smile a lot. You can't smile, can you? No, that's that's a grimace. Till next time, people. Deuces. I'm out. Peace. First, nervous about.